Uh, the next thing I have is related to Dino Compile. So for the past month, I've been working on stuff on Dino Compile to make it more, uh, well, quote unquote, uh, practical. So stuff that is now working is code signing. So you can code sign uh, binaries on Apple and Windows. You can now also like uh, have a custom icon for your uh, Windows executable. Um, now supports, uh, I mean, it already did, but it's now fixed. So you can now cross compile um, for uh, various targets. And all of this was released in 146 and no major bugs have been reported yet. So I think that's right. Um, to achieve this, we worked on a tool called SUI, which is um, a Rust grid that uh, injects um, read-only data into any executable, and it respects the format of that executable. So if it's on Mac OS, it will uh, follow the Mac uh, O format. On Windows, it will follow the uh, portable executable format. And so it can maintain the integrity of the binary. Uh, so code signing tools can work with it. So uh, I have a quick demo. Um, so I made a game, or rather I ported an old game of mine uh, written in SDL uh, to the latest version of Dino. So we can try it out with Dino Compile. Um, and let me run this. I have to downgrade to 1.46 because 2.0 does not have Dino compile uh, support. We now run unstable FFI. And yay, so um, it's a Flappy Bird clone. Um, and as you can see, it has a bunch of assets. It has uh, the like stuff to draw and interactions. And of course the bird dies, yeah. So um, let's try to build this for, um, Let's say I'm done with the game, and so I want to ship this. So normally I'll do Dino compile main JS and binaries. And so it gives me um, the binary for Linux. And then this works without problems. Now um, to test the cross compile feature, uh, we can do Dino compile and then we specify a target. So let's say I want to ship for Windows. So we can do Dino compile target this and then uh, now all. So and there you go. Uh, that's that's a Windows executable. And I can ship this to you and you should be able to run it. Um, of course, for this game, I have a bunch of assets lying here in the assets folder, so a bunch of PNGs. And what's not supported in Dino compile right now is to bundle these files together. So I have this hack uh, here that generates uh, JavaScript from these files uh, and like encodes them into base64 so you can import them from here and use it. So that's obviously not great. And um, I think this will be solved by uh, uh, these import types. So something like this. Something like this would solve this. But yeah, anyways, that's the only hack for this. Um, and so 
also in this make file, I have a little, uh, I have a bunch of commands that create a zip for Win64. Um, and so, happy bar Win64.zip, it should upload as uh, create a zip file with it. And to test out the final features, we can send the same Dino compile command. Um, and for Windows targets, we can specify an icon. So yeah, it now has an icon. And uh, this is a Linux machine, so I can't show you, but it looks this when you open this on Windows. So uh, you extract the zip and uh, you can double click and it will run. So um, that's my game demo. Um, you can try it out on Windows uh, by going to the release page of this repo and let me know if it works for you. Um, what's next for Dino Compile? Uh, well, assets support would be awesome. Um, a lot of people uh, who have tried this after the 146 release also want a way to statically link uh, FFI libraries. This is currently not possible because we use DL open in FFI. And also uh, the general issue of shipping FFI libraries that needs to be um, made more friendly. Currently, there's no uh, built-in way to do that. Um, so yeah, that's my DM compile demo. And also a quick mention to Patchwork. This is an internal tool that we use to promote um, RC, uh, to promote Kennedy binaries to RC releases without having to recompile all of Dino. Uh, and this is uh, uses the same tech as Dino compile to patch the version inside the binary without having to recompile using cargo build. And this has improved CI times by orders of magnitude, so it's like almost 30 seconds to release an RC version in Dino. Um, there's also some discussion around using the same tech uh, of injecting data into binaries for CLI snapshots. Luca has a proof of concept for that, but it's a work in progress. And yeah, we'll see how that goes. So, so oh, that's it. That's it for me.